In February of 1962, just a few weeks before my 10th birthday, my daddy came to me and he said, Linda, your next birthday is your 10th birthday and that is a special birthday. So what I want to know is, what would you like as a present on your special day? Well, I had never been asked what I wanted for a present before. I just woke up on my birthday morning, went to the kitchen table, and there would be a present on the table waiting for me. Sometimes it would be paper dolls. Sometimes it would be a board game. And sometimes it would be a book, which was my favorite present. But if I could ask for anything that I wanted, I knew exactly what that would be. I looked at my daddy and I said, Daddy, I want a bicycle. And suddenly that twinkle that had been in his eyes just disappeared. And he said, well, Linda, I'll, um, I'll have to think on that. And he turned and he walked away. And I thought to myself, I'm not going to get that bicycle. A few days later, after supper, Daddy pulled me aside and he said, Linda, after work today, I went into Rose's Five and Dime store. And I looked at the bicycles, and the cheapest one they had was $15.96. Now, ain't no way I can come up with that much money before your birthday. So, what I propose we do is this. I'll put aside $2.50 every single month. And in about six months' time, that'd be August. I'll have enough money for that bicycle. Now, Linda, can you wait that long? Could I wait that long? Of course I can wait that long, Daddy. I, I can wait a year if you want me to. When August came, we realized that my sister Elflin's birthday was in that month as well. And since I was saving my birthday for August, my parents decided we would combine our birthdays. We each had our own cake. We had a gallon of chocolate ice cream and we each had our very own 16-ounce Wada Clumas. Evelyn opened her present. She had gotten some Barbie paper dolls and she was ecstatic. She loved Barbie, who at that time wore her hair in a long ponytail and did not have an occupation. After she opened her gift, Daddy went outside. A few minutes later, he came back in with a 26-inch hot pink girl's bicycle. It had a white wire basket and a horn and even a headlight. I looked at that bicycle and said, Mama, Daddy, I love it. It's the best birthday present ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I looked at my baby sister, Evelyn. She was standing by that bicycle crying. Now, if she had been sobbing or throwing a fit, I would have had no sympathy for her because that's what a spoiled child does. But she wasn't doing those things. She was just standing there with her lower lip quivering as tears threaded waterfalls down her cheek. She ran her finger over the hot pink fender of that bicycle. And she looked at me and she said, Oh, sissy, I'm real glad you got this bicycle. It's so nice my heart just melted. I picked up a napkin from the kitchen table. I walked over her. I wiped, wiped the tears from her cheeks. And I said, you know, Evelyn, that bicycle needs a lot of riding to keep from going rusty. And you know how much homework I do. I can't ride that bicycle and do homework at the same time. I'm just wondering. When I'm doing my homework, will you ride that bicycle for me? And she looked at me and she said, Oh, yes, sissy. And she gave me a great big hug and said, I love you, sissy. And I looked at my daddy and he winked at me. And I knew that meant that he was proud. And you know what? That was the best birthday present ever.